Hello makers and welcome back to Dr. Mummy Cake's channel, home of the easy to follow cake tutorials. My reason for making this channel is to help you, home bakers and cake making beginners, and um, learn to make cakes that taste absolutely amazing. And not just teach you how to make cakes, but also equip you with the skills to decorate the cake so that you create a cake that is wow and amazing. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you about a fundamental thing for all home bakers, beginner bakers, professional bakers, you need to know this. If you don't fully understand or if you scrimp on this particular issue, don't be surprised if your cakes don't turn out well. Today, we're going to be talking about measuring and I'm going to be showing you the different tools that I use when I'm making my cakes and my frostings so that you can learn how to measure properly and make cakes that taste amazing. So I'm going to be showing you the selection of um, my measuring instrument and really home bakers, this is about all that you need. As long as you've got two or three um, measuring equipment, you are good to go and ready to start making cakes. So here are my um, equipment that I use uh, for measuring my baking goods. You need a scale. Um, this one was an inexpensive one um, that I got from the supermarket. Uh, in hindsight, I would say buy the best quality scale that you can afford. You also want to have a scale that measures in uh, different um, units of measurement. So in milligrams, in milliliters, uh, in pounds and ounces and also have a weighing scale that measures in small quantities a gram increments or less so that you can be very accurate and you're going to use your measuring um, scale for weighing large quantities so for weighing up butter, um, sugar, flour, that large quantities you'll need a weighing scale. Some weighing scales have a built-in um, bowl that you can measure or something like this that you can measure it. So that's the weighing scale and I would say a weighing scale is a must-have for every home baker. You also need other equipment for measuring smaller quantities both for dry goods and for wet goods. These tools are used for measuring smaller quantities. Uh, these are measuring cups. And measuring spoons. This is also a measuring spoon. Um, that's uh, one teaspoon and one tablespoon. If you're only going to get one set of measuring spoon, get one that has um, different sizes. This one goes from an eighth of a teaspoon right up to one tablespoon and you're going to use this for measuring um, dry goods in smaller quantities. So you use it to measure things like uh, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and smaller quantities. You might see some recipes call for um, cups, so you need larger cups. This is one cup size and it goes down to half a cup. I'm going to show you how to accurately measure using um, your weighing spoon and it's important that you measure correctly because if you don't measure correctly you'll get the wrong amount and that will mess up your recipe. So uh, here I've got a bowl of sugar. Now this is not how you do that or a heat one, no. What you need to do when it says uh, a teaspoon or a tablespoon it means a level tablespoon. So like that and use back of a knife just gently swipe. So this is a tablespoon of sugar. And you do that when you're using either the tablespoons to measure or when you're using cups. You also need equipment to measure um, liquid. So this is a measuring cup. For measuring smaller liquids. For bigger ones you have uh, measuring uh, jars of varying size um, and again make sure you have uh, one that measures both in cups and in millilitres 
because different recipe will ask for different um, ranges of measurements. So home bakers, these are the different types of measuring utensils that I use in my baking. Which one of them do you have? Do you have all of them? If not, which one would you think that you're going to buy next? Drop me a comment or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and I'm also on Pinterest. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. It's literally just there and all you have to do is click. Thank you. I will see you next week. Enjoy baking, enjoy making cakes and stick with me. You'll be learning how to make amazing cakes in no time. Thank you and see you next time.